Hey guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new COD Mobile Top 10 video. Today, my favorite skins from all the season pass in the whole first year of COD Mobile. And we had a lot of seasons, 10 seasons, we're almost at season 11. The first few seasons, we only had one Battle Pass skin, but after that, it started being two skins, and then later, four skins every season. So in today's video, I had to pick my favorite 10 skins from all 24 released Battle Pass skins in COD Mobile. So let's start with number 10, guys. At number 10, we have the good old Reaper, the original Reaper skin. No name, just Reaper. Now, we had a bunch of different variations now, but that one's the classic one. I really think it deserves a spot in my top 10. Now, this one's super cool, super simple, and I like simple skins. Not too colorful, not too flashy. Very nice golden brown-ish skin. And also, I like the fact that he's got a very unique voice and the sounds he makes when he slides, jumps, and he does emotes. So that's a very unique skin. And it's from the Battle Pass Season 5. Now let's go for number 9. And number 9 is FTL from Season 3. It's the first season we had two skins, FTL and the Phantom. And that was the biggest debate in the world. Who's the best, FTL or Phantom? So I know I'm going to create some controversy, but I decided to go FTL in today's video. I like it better than the Phantom. It's very nice. And I mean, let me know in the comments. Do you prefer FTL or Phantom? I mean, FTL is super unique. Phantom is a bit bigger, a bit bulky. This one's skinny, slim, and I like that skin for that. Plus, it was super, super popular when it came out, and I don't see it that often anymore. We have so many skins now, 100 plus. And I don't know how many players out there still have that skin as their number one skin. But it's very unique. It's beautiful. It's a classic. FTL Season 3, number 9 on the list. Let's go for number 8. At number 8 is Ghost Hazmat from Season 7. I don't know why, guys. I always like hazmat suits. I like the gas mask on a lot of skins. And usually they carry the mask as an accessory or as an equipment. But the Ghost Hazmat's got the mask. And of course, it's the ghost character. It's such an iconic character in the COD universe. Now that one, I really like what they did. The colors are super nice. The mask is awesome. And all the gear all around, it's a great skin. Now the only thing I don't like that much is the boots, but I know it's just a detail and maybe that's why it's a bit low on the list. It could have been maybe higher. But anyways, he's number eight on the list and you're gonna see the number seven now. Now number seven is another skin from season seven, the same season as the ghost hazmat but it's the kruger alchemist and again another debate what's the best skin from that season is it ghost or uh, kruger alchemist i decided to put kruger on top uh because i don't know guys i like the mask better i like the colors and the rest of the gear also it's got more accessories and when you use it in the game the yellow ish gloves are actually super cool so yeah i don't know if you say yellow or golden gloves but that skin is epic, guys. I really like it. And I know it's a very popular skin because I see it still very often out there in BR, in multiplayer. So Kruger Alchemist from Season 7 at number 7. Let's go for number 6. Number 6 is the good old Soap McTavish, the original one. Again, another iconic character in Call of Duty. And also, it's been maybe reworked a little bit. There was a lot of disappointment in the community when the skin came out. Because all the artwork was so nice and people were so excited to have uh, soap in the game. And when it came out, the face wasn't that great. The hair maybe was different from the artwork. So they did rework a little bit. And right now he's looking super cool, super badass. And again, the shotgun in the back and all the stuff. It's a great skin, guys. And it's another iconic character in COD. So soap is here on my top 10 at number 6. Now, number five on my top 10 is Mara from season 10, brand new season pass, four new skins. Mara is there. I think it's the best of the four skins this season. The first time I saw this skin, I didn't think it was that great. But the more I look into it, I think it's actually much better than my first impression was. They did a great job. She's actually super cool. I like the tattoos. I like the gear. And yeah, great looking skin overall, guys. Now, that's why she is so popular and you'll see her very often out there. So Mara, number five on the list. Let's go for number four. Now, my number four, Nikto Stronghold from season nine. Guys, I feel this skin is so underrated. It's out there. It's from the season past, season nine. 
and I don't see it that often, but honestly, guys, this dude is so badass, so scary. The mask is awesome. The whole gear is awesome. It's super dark, uh, dark gray and black. The shoulder pads or shoulder gear. Bro, this dude's scary, and the skin is awesome. Now, let me know in the comments below, why is that skin not more popular? Why don't we see it everywhere? For real, big question mark. Is it because people prefer female skins? I don't know, but one of the coolest male soldier skins out there, Nikto Stronghold from season nine, number four. Now let's go in the top three, guys. Now my number three from season six is Seraph Desperada. And I know guys, don't bash me. I'm such a sim for that skin. And I don't know why I got something for that one. I always loved that skin from back then when I saw her the first time. I think she's freaking awesome. And I know the cowboy stuff, the cowboy theme, doesn't fit that much in Call of Duty for some of you guys. But yeah, still something I like about that skin. Always like, she's in all my top 10s. And my top 10 female skin, she was very high also. So she's still here guys from the season pass. Again, season 6, Seraph Desperada. Top 2 now. Number 2 is the OG Ghost from season 1. One of the oldest soldier skins in the game. It was the first season pass skin. And I know if you didn't play the game from the start, well, you didn't get that one. And there was no other chance to get that uh, ever after. So it is rumored that we will get a new ghost skin, but it's not the same, not the same gear. Uh, I think we've seen some leaks and it's going to have some golden pants and stuff. But that one's the OG one. It's another iconic character, such a classic, and it looks great. Now the question is, why is this guy not number one on the list? And what skin is number one from all season pass in the whole first year of COD Mobile? Let's go for the number one. Here you go, guys. It's Urban Tracker from season four. And for a lot of you guys, she's not just the best female skin, but the best skin in the whole game. I made a top 10 female skins not long ago, and she was not my number one, but I had a lot of comments. And for a lot of you guys, she's number one, best skin ever, best female skin. So many simps out there for that one. And if you read the Reddit, if you check out the Facebook groups, a lot of memes, a lot of fan art, a bit of everything about that skin. So I guess you guys are right though. I mean, I have to agree. She's really, really nice. One of the best skins ever. Is it the best skin ever? Well, that, I guess it's debatable. Personal preference, personal opinions. Now guys, let me know in the comments. Do you agree or not with my top 10? Is there any skin in the season pass from 1 to 10 that should have been on my top 10 and I didn't put there? Let me know in the comments, guys. I cannot wait to read your comments. And that will be it for today's video. Now, once again, smash that like if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe for daily Cut Mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.